Hey guys, Super Rick 100 here for a very special custom minifigure review. I have my Spider-Man the Movie custom minifigures. This movie starred Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, and um, William Dafoe. I think it was a pretty good movie, so I decided to make custom minifigures. So let's jump right in. So here we have Spider-Man. This is the official Ultimate Spider-Man minifigure. Same one I've been using for my Amazing Spider-Man reviews. Uh, there's this tick, I mean spider, on the back. <laughs> so yeah, that is Spider-Man. Next up, we have Peter Parker. This is uh, Robin Hare from the new... 2012 Lego set uh, of Robin. This is uh, Thorn Oak and Shield Torso from the Lake Town set, and just some um, dark blue legs and Frodo head. Next up, we have Mary Jane Watson. So this is a Thor cape on sideways. Uh, the minor 4x4 minifigure torso with flesh hands. And you can't really see the yellow because it's covered up by this. Um, some dark legs with a uh, black waist, dark red legs. Um, some red pony, uh, red hair with a ponytail, and um, black widow's hair. So next up, we have the green goblin. So this is some dark green, uh, regular green legs, a orange stud for a pumpkin bomb, the swamp creature's torso, this is a flying Dutchman head, and a 1x3 in purple on his head. But you can't have the green goblin without... Give me a second. Come on. There we go. His glider, and holy crap, look how this thing turned out. So, if I can remember, I will show you how to build it. <laughs> so, it was actually pretty challenging for me to come up with a way to build this, considering, well, it's so iconic and awesome in the movie. Now, this thing, I started off trying to do a reference to the movie, but then it just got got so different and ugh, I just completely forgot what I was doing and made this completely different oversized glider. But I think the detail I put into it is so good. Um, so I started off with a two by six in dark gray. Put one of these pieces on the piece from How to Make a Lego Seesaw and a one of these pieces and then I put a flame in the back and that is your base uh... for the wing, or uh... I put this piece on er, right there and an orange slope or er, purple and I put it on the front like that and you can see it coming together uh... let's see what I do next uh... let's do the wings yeah, so for the wings, you start out by taking two 2x4s two uh, in gray, any color, any shade, and putting them on like that. Uh, yeah, and then, um, let's see then you'll put two of these pieces on either side one and two like that and you'll take two of these this is a one by six in black and then you'll put this one right there like so and then you'll take the other one and do the same thing now, this thing's kind of fragile right now, but, um, it 
gets st stronger later in the build. Come on. There we go. So then you'll take two uh, one by fours and just stick them on like that. So you can see the goblin glider coming together. Uh, and then you'll take, oops, messed it up, messed it up, okay, my bad, so this, come on, yeah, see how fragile that is, anyway, come on, okay, now that I'm back, I fixed it, as you can see, the longer part is in the back, here's what it looks like when you flip it upside down, um, so then you'll take, one of the uh, clip piece with a stud you'll put it uh, right there come on and then you'll take one of these pieces ski pieces I call them with a stud flip it so that the pointy part is sticking outwards and then you put it right there and looks pretty good so far the last thing you'll do is make it stable so how did I do oh yeah um you'll build this contraption two by four two one by two uh one by four and another two by two or one by two so looks like that and then what you'll do is you'll put it right there, stick it on, and it'll make it stronger. So, and then you have the Goblin Glider. So now on your the rest of your minifigures. Here we have Norman Osborn. This is a uh, Lex Luthor torso and legs. An elf head from the... Uh, barrel escape set uh this is the elf with the green shirt and then have uh, the tony stark hair next up we have harry osborne what's funny about him is that i was looking at the picture or er, shots from the movie and in one of the shots he was wearing this exact suit it, it i found it really funny so this is actually a bruce wayne torso and legs uh, Frank Rock hair and a, um, guard head from the Two-Face Chase set. This is really a throw-together throw minifigure compared to all the other things I had to make. And last but not least, we have Dennis Carradine, a.k.a. Uncle Ben's Killer. So, uh, this is a Black Widow torso, uh, some Black Widow legs, a... This is the robber without the glasses from the uh, Two-Face Chase set. A beanie and a gun. So, well, yeah, guys, that is my custom Lego minifigures for this um, film. Tell me what you thought of that in the comments below. And, um, yeah, guys... Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And one more thing I want to show you. Here's what it looks like when you put Norman Osborn's head on the Green Goblin and hold it like that. And here's what it looks like when you do Peter Parker. If I can... One sec. Like that. So, uh, yeah, guys. Bye.